Hello. Today we're going to show you the importance of a vacuum check valve in a decentralized system and um, how it can help you in the uh, case of a power outage or an air outage. So what we have right now is we just have a typical ejector and cup set up and we're going to be using this plastic tray to define our airtight surface, be it glass, plastic or sheet metal. And I'll show you what happens when the air is on and the system is live versus when the air is then cut off in an emergency, an auto stop, power outage, or an air outage, for example. So you can see that we're able to hold it and maintain it while the air is running. Of course, that'll change once the air is turned off. We lose our part. Hello! Today we're going to be taking a look at the Piab X2098, otherwise known as the VacCheck Valve VT1 VacuStat. This product has a lot of unique features that will definitely help you in an energy savings environment where you don't want to lose hold on your workpiece in case of a power outage, an air outage, or an emergency stop situation. Let me go over some of the unique features. We still have our vacuum port and our blow-off port and we do are able to reach those from both the top, the front and then the back of the unit. This unit also has a vacuum check valve so once vacuum is achieved and air is turned off in an emergency situation we're going to be able to maintain the hold on our part. It also uses the vacuum stat which once we reach a predetermined vacuum the air will turn off the energy will turn off inside the unit and then we're going to be able to save a lot of air that way. Typically in a regular vacuum generator the air has to continually pass through the cartridge in order to maintain vacuum. What the vacuum stat allows us to do is turn off that air so we're using the least amount of air to get the maximum amount of hold. When the system is ready we also it also uses a automatic blow-off which uses the air that's trapped internally to help release the part for a quicker operation. Now while we can't show all of these options in our current setup, we can show many of the ones that we feel are going to be important to you. We're also going to be using a digital vacuum gauge so we can check and monitor the vacuum as the system is energized and as we continue to hold the part. So as long as we reach over 18 inches, we're going to be good and you're going to see that this number will turn green once we achieve that. Unlike other vacuum generators, you won't hear that continual hiss of air passing over the system. Once we reach our vacuum, the system will turn off automatically while our power supply, or our air supply, I'm sorry, is still powering the unit. So let me show you now. So there you go. As you can see, we've reached our 20 inches of vacuum, which is now giving us the green because we've achieved over 18. The air is turned off within the unit, but our supply air is still on and we're able to maintain the unit. Now if we were to turn the air off while holding the unit in the air, such as emergency stop, the air is now off, we're going to maintain our vacuum. And you can see there that we're maintaining that pretty well. Obviously it's not indefinite, the vacuum will eventually release the atmosphere, but we certainly could hold it for minutes if not hours depending on the quality of the cup and the workpiece. When the system is released, you're going to hear the blow off happen when I release the cup from the system. And there you go. So basically what's happening now is that we're achieving everything that we require for this unit to operate. I'll go through once again quickly just to, so, just to show you how, how fast this unit will energize. And there we go. Not wasting any air. Air is off and we're maintaining a good hold of the product. If you have any questions or concerns in regards to the X2098, don't hesitate to give us a call and we're more than happy to help you out with any questions that you may have. Have a wonderful day.